Tangu creates the world and Nua makes humans. Oh, the sun is shining. Is this a little break in the storm? Oh, is that a rainbow I see? <laughs> Isn't nature amazing? Some of the children have rushed back outside to continue playing their game. How are our storyteller? has also gone outside to admire the rainbow. One of the children is still inside on her own. I wonder why. Where will Howard take us today? Ah, yes, to China, which now has the largest population in the world. But where our story starts, there wasn't a single person, just space, the cosmos. Are you ready? Let's go inside and listen. Why are you still here? Aren't you going to play outside with the other children? I don't like that game that they're playing, so I'm just going to stay on my own. I have nobody to play with. Well, if you're on your own, and I'm on my own, then we're not alone, you see? You remind me of Nuwa. Nuwa? Yes, she was a Chinese goddess with a dragon's tail. But before I tell you her story, I'm going to tell you about Pangu. Because without Pangu, there would be no stories to tell. We acknowledge the ancestral lands of the Chinese people. We thank you for this story. In the very beginning, it began with a cosmic egg. And the first being, Pangu, is just waking up. Mm. Where am I? Ah, oh, yes, I'm in this egg. I think I've outgrown it, though. I've been here way too long. 18,000 years, and it's starting to feel a little bit cramped. My legs are wrapped around my head. And I, honestly, I need some air. I think I've reached the perfect balance. Now it's time to break out. So good. What an almighty stretch. <gasps> One hand up to the sky. Ah, it's so light. That's yin. Yes, yin. And my other hand down to the earth. It's more solid. That's yang. Yin and yang. A perfect balance. A compliment. Oh! Uh, hello there. Phoenix here at your service. And this is my companion, Dragon. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. And you must have met our most noble and learned company, the Citatus here. He's going to be documenting everything so that no one forget what happened here. The Grand Master of... Um... <laughs> it's fine. I don't need a huge introduction. Yes. I carry the stories from the very beginning. The beginning of the... Yes, yes, he's from the very, very beginning. He's very, very old. Pangu, I'm going to fly up to talk to you. Oh, you seem to be growing bigger and bigger by the second. Yes, I've been growing ten feet a day for 18,000 years. It is true. He just grew and grew and grew. And in that time, he grew two great tusks. Long, thick hair covered his body and great big teeth that came out of his mouth. He was an interesting looking being. And Phoenix, Dragon and Tortoise were there to keep him company. Pagu, what's that big axe for? And that hammer too. I reckon you could hammer out anything on this earth. That reminds me of... If I had a hammer, I'd hammer, hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening. Oh, All over this land. I'd hammer in rivers and valleys. Yes. Mountains. Yes. Great ocean. Yes. And with his companions... Pangu hammered out valleys, mountains and rivers and oceans. And then, when this was done, Pangu found raw light. He gathered it and tossed it up towards the sky and it became 
the stars. Those are beautiful, Pangu. And look at this beautiful earth that you've created. It looks wonderful from up here. Yes, but I'm quite exhausted. I expect you are. Not everyone can go on for as long as we tortoises do. Such a lot of work, Pangu. Pangu? He's gone to sleep. No, he's transforming. He's becoming the Earth itself. Pangu laid down. He was exhausted. And as he lay, he started to change. His enormous body became a chain of mountains. His voice became thunder. His left eye, sunlight. His right eye, moonlight. His skin and his hair became the plants and trees. His breath became the clouds and the wind. His teeth and bones became rock and metal. The marrow of his bones crystallized to become precious stones. His sweat fell as rain and his blood became rivers and streams. His flesh became the fertile land. Wow, but what about the people and animals? Wasn't there anyone else on the earth to enjoy it? The earth was a very beautiful place, but it was empty. Nua, a goddess with a dragon's tail, was watching the creation of the earth from the cosmos. She decided to come and live there, but after a while she realised that she didn't have anyone else to enjoy the earth with her. She started to feel a little... lonely. Like me? Yes, in a way. So she decided to create humans to talk to, share ideas with, but mostly to love. Oh, great river, you are lovely to look at. And your water is so fresh, but you're not much of a talker. I talk to you and never any reply. I've got an idea. I'm a goddess. I don't need to sit around talking to rivers and trees. I'm going to make people, yes, humans, to keep me company. What have I got here? Ah, yes, perfect. Some mud and some clay. And I'm actually artistic, so I'll make them look like me. Stunning. Oh, yes. That's not bad. A nice torso and a dragon tail like mine. Voila. Hello. Oh, oh I'm here. <laughs> How nice. Lovely to meet you, Goddess Noah. <laughs> um, I'm having a bit of trouble moving. Um, I think it might be the tail. It's not really working for me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, let me see. Aha! I've got an idea. Legs. I could remold this clay. What about this? A thigh, a kneecap, a calf, a shin, an ankle, a foot, a toe. Uh, I mean toes. Oh, yes. That's good. Now for the other leg. Perfect. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Let me try these legs out. <laughs> I can jump. I can run. I can skip. I can dance. Look at me. Oh, thank you, Goddess Nua. I love you. I love you. Thank you for creating me. And I love you. I made you with my own hands and your Perfect! And I'm amazing! Just the two of us then, is it? Oh, hello! There you go. A slightly different version. Some other bits. Oh, yes. I love this hair. Thank you so much, Goddess Nupa. Are there more coming? I can't wait to meet everyone. Nua was very pleased with her humans. Yay, me! And she kept on making them one by one. 
but soon realised at this pace she would never make enough humans to fill all the lands on the earth. We are so grateful to you, Goddess Nua, for bringing us all into existence. And there are so many of us now. You are wonderful creations, and I am very talented, but this is exhausting. I've made hundreds and hundreds of people now. I'm knackered. And we are also unique, made with love. Yes, it's such hard work making human beings, because you all are... Handcrafted. Individual bespoke, one-offs, made to the highest spec. No one human is the same. But it's way too time-consuming to craft you all one by one by hand with this amount of precision and skill, even for me. You are certainly very talented. Maybe there's a quicker way to make more people? A quicker way? A way that's more efficient, more productive? I've got an idea. Get me that stick. I'll swirl it around in the mud and then flick and flick and flick humans here, here and everywhere until the world will be full of human beings. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm Nua and I'm your creator goddess. Thank you. Um, I think that was a nod. Or was that a wave? Is that a head or a hand? Yes, well, the point is that there are many, many, many humans now. My work is done. And from that day, Nuwa was never alone again. So I have to make? Friends. Oh. Darren Hart, Narenda Samra played the tortoise, and Rosie Christian played Nuwa. The man was Arnie Hewitt, and Howard Khan, she played the woman. In the beginning, creation stories from around the world. Researched, written, and directed by Lucia Scadzocchio and Howard Khan. Presented by Chizzy Akindulu, narrated by Nicole Davis, cast Chizzy Akindulu, Rosie Marie Christian, Darren Hart, Arnie Hewitt, Hawa Khan, Catherine Mobley, James Price, Narinda Samra, and Paul Marlon. The children as themselves, Quincio, Della, and Omara Parks, Sierra, and Gabriel Keitel. Casting director, Hawa Khan. Audio production and sound design, Lucia Skadzokio. Additional research, Leona Fensom. Original music, Gail Tasker. Illustrations and art, Delphine. This is a Sonomatopoeia and Social Broadcasts production. Supported by the Audio Content Fund.